Welcome back, survivors. Disturb Z here, and we are back in Timberborn. All right, we're doing our Eager Beaver playthrough. We've got one dam built here. We've got one dam almost built here. Literally two logs away from this one, so 22 more logs, and that one will be completed, which we have a nice little stockpile of logs there. We got a stockpile of logs here. And I believe they are starting to work. Yep, they're starting to work on that dam right there as well. Okay, so as you can see, this is where we've got our water at right now. All of that is still green. So I am thinking that is where we're going to grow our potato crop is right here. So we're going to grow all of that. Let's see, do I have? Yeah, there was a cut order for that. Let me go ahead and clear out some of this cut order. Like so. And like so. Okay. So they'll start working on planting potatoes over there. I don't have a grill set up just yet. Uh, we will get to that here in a minute. I want to get, I want to get this builder's hut unlocked. We got to get a builder's hut going. And I think, I think we'll put the builder's hut right here. And then I want a hauling post as well. Uh, how is that going to look if I do it like that? Yeah, let's do it just like that. Just wrap it around the back of that building. There we go. All right. So do that. And I'm thinking for right now. Let's go ahead and pause that. That way they'll focus over here on this stuff. Um, pause that farm as well because we don't need a whole bunch of beavers over here. We need to get that builder's hut built first. So that will be key. Once we have a builder's hut and we have three or four building beavers, we'll be able to knock out this dam right here real fast we'll get over here we'll knock that open and then water will flow in i'm hoping at some point we can get some dynamite going because i'd love to be able to uh make like a little channel around the island here so that when the water floods in it fills it up and then when it floods out it can just you know hold itself provide a little bit but we'll see all right dry season is just about over so the water should be coming back in right there We'll see how it comes in. Okay, so it's coming in over here first. Coming in here, coming over here. They have completed the dam part right there. That's good. All of that has greened up again. Okay, so we're going to wait for it to flood back in from over here. So it has to come back around. Yeah, at least part of our crop gets hydrated right there. And yeah, it's not going to come back in on this side. Okay, so it has to feed in from that other side. Uh-oh, did it stop? Oh no. <laughs> Oops. Um, That might be a bad thing. That might be a bad thing right there. We might have to open up, open up this dam. 
how long do those got to live? It died and dried out. Those are already dead. Okay, so yeah, that's not going to work. We're going to have to... Unfortunately, we're going to have to open that. To let the water back in. Hmm. Okay, so that is very, very, very interesting as to how that happened. Um, hmm. Yeah, I'm a little bit concerned here. Uh, okay. So just damming it off isn't going to work. We're going to have to think of a different strategy here. Well, at least damming off this back portion is not going to work. It might work if we get down here to that. Which, if they'll ever build this building hut, oh, we need planks. And let me guess, we don't have planks. No, y'all are within range. Y'all can do this. Yeah, that's just not flowing water in there at all. Okay, so this is the main source right here. So if I block this and then this, it should work. I think, maybe, possibly. I don't know. We'll find, we'll find out eventually. We will most definitely find out. Um, I'm not too worried about this right here. I mean, it's green, so I don't have any water pumps here. So there's nothing that is making me say, hey, we need to get this done right now. Well, let's see if we can build a hauling post right here. Yeah, they're going to build that instantly. Let's go ahead and destroy that one for right now. Yeah, they'll have this one built in a second. Did we lose? We lost a builder on our building thing. That's why it wasn't getting built. What did he do? Did he die? Benny died of thirst. Shozing died of thirst. Why did they die of thirst? Did I run out of... I don't even know if I ran out of... Maybe it's because there's not... I bet it's because there's not water over here and they didn't want to walk back to get water. Ah, uh, these things, these animals, these creatures, they make me wonder sometimes. Uh, 
Okay, so yeah, so we lost a handful, and I didn't even realize we lost a handful of them. You know, it'd be nice if, like, when a beaver died, I know it gives a little notification, but I don't ever pay attention to this thing. It would be nice if they, like, threw up, like, a little death sound or something. I mean, I know what's going to happen is you'll have, like we did the other day, when we have hundreds of beavers dying off, and it'll just flood the game with that one sound, but it would be nice to know when your beavers are dying, just to kind of give you that extra little alert. Alright, well, there's not much we can do other than sit here and wait this one out. So, because we've got to have beavers to expand over. And we've got plenty of housing right now. You know what? Pause. Pause both of y'all. Let, let's get y'all to a different spot. So that gave me lumberjack beavers over here. Let's pause the lumberjack beavers as well. Alright game, where did you put them? Um... I don't know. Yeah, I have no idea where those other beavers went. Oh, that's kind of odd. Okay, well. Then I guess I'll wait for the little ones. I can't really select the bottom ones, but... So my baby beavers are over here in the bottom houses? Age four, okay, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. They're about to switch over. They are just about to switch over. Did we get one? No, we didn't get one yet. Let me guess. I'll put them over here. No? Alright, game. Two of my beavers grew up. Where did you put them? I don't know where it put them. Huh. Alright guys, well, <clears throat> I think I am going to pause it right here. I'm going to let it run a little bit until we got some beavers so that we can do something with. Because, I mean, they're just going to sit here and run back and forth and do the same thing. We're not going to really get anywhere until we get a bigger beaver population. So, I'm going to pause it here. We're going to get some more beavers going and I'll bring you all right back. Okay guys, so, 
finally, finally got it done. So our baby beavers grew up a little bit. Once they grew up, I had two jobless ones sitting over here. They weren't doing anything, weren't moving. I built a house over here and they shot straight over, started getting stuff done. Now we can have a little something going over here. Uh, exactly what that is, I eh, don't know. But we've got beavers and they are doing things. So I think what we're probably going to end up having to do is I'm going to have to put me in a stair and a platform. And we're probably going to have to put a couple more beaver houses over here is what I'm thinking. So we're just going to have to do, you know, something here. Um, you know what? I'm going to do it like that. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. We shall see. But I was kind of hoping that we were going to get this uh, this water tank built before the dry season got here. But, I mean, it is the dry season, and I'm just waiting for the water to roll back. So, unfortunately, I'm going to leave that open because that's not going to do us any good here. Oh, we got it. Nice. Now maybe maybe they'll pump some water into it. That'd be really nice. They probably won't. Nope. Nope, it does not look like any water got delivered to it. Unfortunately. Okay. Well, that is a thing. So now the next thing is, is should I come down here and build another water pump in the water? So that's kind of what I'm thinking about doing is just putting one right there, putting a staircase right there, and putting a road right next to it. Um, well, there's a potato patch there, but yeah, they can walk through it. It'll be all right. So we'll see what happens here. Maybe this will help. Maybe this will work. I mean, it's going to flood out, so things are going to happen to it. There is a beaver working it, though. All right, well, hopefully that means that we can maintain a beaver population over here. At least for a little bit, you know. I don't know if the buildings take any damage as they flood over or not. That's That'd be something interesting to see if they did. Alright, I think I'm going to unpause that. I'm going to let them go back to work on it. Yeah, our forest isn't looking too bad over here. Oh, those are all maples too. Nice. Nice. I didn't even realize we had a big old thing of maples in there. Uh, we've got one job list. Let's go ahead and add in a second hauler. What do we got here? Another lumberjack beaver. I guess I can unpause the lumberjack beaver at some point. Come back over here, give them access to all this. All right. 
got Yeah, we're not doing too bad on water. That one pump is just, it's maintaining us down there. So that's good. That is good. We shouldn't have any beavers dying, at least not anytime soon. We have plenty of beaver housing over here. So we got room for expansion. They're working on setting up their dam right there. back here okay let's see yeah I'd love to be able to get over here and build a dam if I can build a dam right there then I don't have to worry about this dam up here I mean I could dam that one come over here dam this one and that should hold water at that point I believe if I were to put a dam here. At least a little bit. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Blocking off that one would be nice, too. There it goes. Is it going to hold right there? I think it's going to hold right there. Alright, that building is underwater. Let's see. I'm not seeing any sort of like degradation towards it, so maybe it'll work. Maybe it will work. How are we doing? Beaver population still looking good. I'm seeing more babies being born. Not seeing really any dying. That's good. Good, good. We don't have any jobless beavers right now, so that's good. Yeah, of course it would stop right there. Of course. Alright, well, we're still surviving. They're refilling the water stockpile. Logs are looking good. Planks are looking good. Potatoes, well, we're going to have to get us a grill here pretty soon. In order to enjoy the potatoes.
Yeah, I'm gonna put a grill right there, kind of in between the two. I'd like it if it would have had a little bit more range to catch these couple of houses, but it is what it is. <laughs> And they are grilling. Good. That means all these potatoes can now start being used. We are so close to getting that. A little odd. Okay, so that builder can go all the way over here now. And we'll put a lumberjack right there. Alright, that builder's down. Let's see. Let's see if we can get a platform to come out here. I want to try to build a dam right here. If I can get all the way down here and build a dam, that'd be very, very nice. I just don't know if we can do it with the way you've got to link everything together. It might be just a little bit hard to do. It might be easier to come over here and do that. Let's see. We don't have any jobless beavers yet, but let's go ahead and undo that. And then, yeah, we only have the one beaver there. How that almost filled in with water, didn't? Is it because of over here? Ooh, it might be. It might be because we put this dam up. Yeah, look at how fast that water is flowing right there. Maybe he's going to do it. Haha. -ha. Yes, fill that up, little beavers. Fill that up. Nice. Very, very nice right there. Okay.
Yep. Once again, we're back to waiting on beaver population. I wonder if, uh, wondering if these beavers reproduce slower. Because it doesn't seem like I'm getting quite as big of an increase of beavers as I was before. Because, like, before it was boom. It was just like boom, 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 boom. And I was out of houses constantly. Not able to do this. Not able to do that. Now it's kind of a little bit slower pace. There we go. Let's build a path. Let's see how far this builder's hut can reach if we build a path out there. Oh, nice. We built it down here. Let's try to build something going this direction as well. Yeah, we might need a dam right here. Very, very good chance of it. But we'll see. I don't want to extend too far in too many different directions. There we go. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. Let's go ahead and I'm going to throw in some carrots over here as well. You know, if I did do that, that would restrict the water flow all the way to over here, which means the only place it would get through is right there. Mm, so many options.
Alright, I think I can turn plank production back on now. And it does seem like we've got a couple of jobless beavers. Let me add another builder here. Let me add another hauler here. Well, I'll add two haulers. There we go. Oh no, that little grill dude servicing this whole area. Nice. So all of our beavers have access to grilled potatoes. Very, very nice. I just realized that. I'm going to try it. I'm going to see if we can get over here and put a dam right here. I mean, I know it's only one little spot, but if I can restrict the water leaving even just one little area, that's that much more water that we can maintain over here. So we're going to see. We're going to see what happens. It might work. It might not work. It might be a total waste of time. I don't know. Yeah, like our water's hardly even getting back here now. Well, that's because of this. Hmm. Yeah, we'll see what happens. If I can get this one and this one dammed off, maybe they'll push the water back down. All right, guys. Well, I think that is going to do it for today's video. I do hope everybody has enjoyed it. If you have, be sure to hit that like button. And if you haven't already, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. It is an awesome, awesome, awesome way for you to show your support to me, to the channel, to the video, and to the game itself. And as always, feel free to share the video on any social media you're using. And guys, just like to stop, take a moment, and thank each and every one of y'all for all of your wonderful, awesome support. All the comments, all the likes, all the subscribers, and all the videos shared. It is awesome, and I do appreciate it. And with that being said, until next time, survivors, keep on surviving.